Cepeda 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First offering on its way. Hey. Takes a knee high fastball. Two out with the man at first. Popped straight up. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Orlando Cepeda has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Standing in now, Mike Piazza, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. Liner towards second. And a diving effort there from Kinsler, but it'll go for not a base hit. And Vlad can still sling it. He is out at the plate. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Through five innings, it's the A's ten and the Angels four. Into the box, Mike Trout. He sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. First delivery to him on the way. A change up that catches the corner for strike one. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh, they want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the brake, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. The one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Into the box now, Jim Edmonds. And Edmonds gives this one a ride high and deep, and this one is way out of here. Jim Edmonds with the solo home run number 395 for his career as they try to claw back it's a five run deficit. That's dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here guys. Dan I can only speak from my own past experiences when the flags are blowing out you want as many at bats as you can and that's exactly what's happening this ball's jumping you know D row this is always a nightmare for a pitcher not only is this a good hitting ballpark but the wind blows out on top of it this is the last place you want to be a pitcher at no hits to this point
set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Line to the right side. But this one lands in the bullpen area, a foul ball. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games. So this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping in now, Zach Kozart. Right. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Bouncer up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Hey, after starting the game over two with two punch outs, that single had to feel good, right? A nice piece of hit. Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ready with the 0 1. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And with just five and two thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And D Row, right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. Kozart, the runner at first with two gone. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. This is foul right side. Got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. But the Angels do get one back via the solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the A's 10 and the Halos 5. Stepping into the box, Reggie Jackson. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Reggie Jackson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Zero. Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. Drilled to the left side. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Well, I'll talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D Row. Three for four is not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. 
Nice execution. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. One is a splitter that misses for the first ball. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. Here he comes again, 1-2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. In now Billy Williams as the first pitch here's a bit high it's ball one he's two for three and looking for more here throw over to the bag and the runner back safely runner at first here one man out. back up the middle and that's in there for a base hit his third hit of the game well with that base hit right there D row he's one double he's three quarters of the way to the cycle he gets one more a B all he needs is a double yeah and I got to be honest with you if I'm hitting right here and I have a chance for a triple Dan guess who's tripping coming around second base that's it hang yeah. on for two pulling up Here's Juana Cespedes as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. So far two for three in this one. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. He's ready. Here's the 1 0 a fastball that he's way out in front of a swing and a miss. The 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground to third. Pozart is there. There's one. Over to Pujols. And it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. 5-4-3 to, to, to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this.